Robinson's Old Tom. Shop to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got a bottle of old Tom. Now, <laughs> the child in me knows that old Tom means something else in uh, in London slang, shall we put it. And I'm going to leave it there. If you want to look it up, you can. But, it's a bit rude, I don't want to get the video taken down, so I am going to just leave that there. But old Tom is, uh, this is quite a special one as it goes. Um, it's a style of beer that's known as Old Ale, or Burton Ale, or Keeping Ale, or October Ale. Basically what it is, it's strong, malty, British ale and that's a style that also includes um, Adnam's Tally Ho which I reviewed the other day that was fucking great stuff um, Fuller's Golden Pride um, uh, Old Peculiar Theakston's Old Peculiar you know you sort of get the get the gist of it but it's uh, it's a really nice style and I you know I'd say that's probably one of my favorite styles of British beer, probably my most favourite style of British beer, to be honest. Um, it's characterised by, as I say, strong malt and uh, high ABV. Usually, um, they're called winter ales over here sometimes. I wouldn't say usually, sometimes they're called winter ales, but uh, that's what this is. Now, this uh, Robinson's Brewery have been going for quite some time, actually, and um, they brewed this, I think 1838 they started, but they brewed this first in 1899. And it has won so many fucking awards, right? It's won Champion Winter Beer of Britain. So that's, that's how I would class it. Um, seven times, it's won that seven times. It's won uh, World's Best Ale twice. And it's won a uh, Brewing Industry Awards, award, sorry, Brewing Industry Award three times. So that's um, that's pretty impressive. Um, I've also, uh, as I say, this is old ale, and you know that was previously called Burton Ale, Keeping Ale, October Ale, or Majority Ale. And um, I'm expecting big things from this because in that category, you've got so many good beers. You've got the Fixton's Old Peculiar, as I said before. You know the Adnams stuff, the uh, Adnams um, Tally Ho and the, the fuller stuff as well and they were all outstanding beers i'm hoping this is going to be the same um just quickly before i get onto the beer i got this from asda it was quite cheap but i've seen it in a lot of supermarkets and um i've always been put off because at, uh, robinson's are the one who brew trooper and to be honest i'm not a fan of trooper or any of them Iron Maiden beers, to be honest. I've seen Light Brigade. Well, no, I'm lying. I haven't tried Light Brigade. Maybe I should. They've just brought one out now called Fear of the Dark, which is a stout. So I may revisit them beers, but that's for another time. Let's investigate what this is. Right, old Tom. That is in a 330ml bottle. It's 8.5%. That is pretty hefty. It is, um, as I say, it's an old ale, keeping ale, whatever you want to call it. The label is interesting. I'll just quickly show you that. That is obviously a cat, but what it is, it's the cat, the old brewery cat, who was called Tom. That was sketched by the head brewer, and I think that was done in 1899. And he had a recipe for a beer, 
and he decided to call it Old Tom, that was the cat's name, and he put that sketch, or he didn't, but the brewery put the sketch on the front of the bottle, and it survived since then. It's been brewed since then to the same recipe, which is really interesting. And it's bottle conditioned, and it's got the date, if you can see that. Oh, come on, don't. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's brewed in 2020. Really, I should, you know, I should let this mature in the bottle, but I never do, I, I am so impatient. And to be honest, speaking of impa being impatient, I wanna get this tasted now. I bought a new cap lifter in the shape of a chain. Will you look at that? And I will christen it and see what it's like. It, yeah, it does open the bottles, but it mangles the cap. But I like that anyway. That'd come in handy if you wanted to belt someone with it. There you go. Not that I'm advocating violence, of course, you know. Not today, anyway. Right, um, on the website, it's advertised as being drunk in a sort of goblet, chalice type thing. I'm just gonna put it in this. This is as good as any, and it sort of looks like what it um, what it was advertised in. So let's get it, well, no, hang on, no, let's not get it into the glass. Let's see what the smell is out of the bowl. Oh, lovely. Lovely, rich, sweet, caramel and toffee malt, spirit alcohol. But that smells absolutely amazing. This could be a good one, but I'm hoping that that spirit alcohol is not gonna ruin it. Remember I tried the Yorkshire Stingo, which I think as well can, can be classed as a, a British old ale. And to be honest, and the same with the Golden Pride, the Fuller's Golden Pride. For me, it just, you know, that spirit alcohol just ruined it. But there it is in the glass. That is very, very, very dark ruby, almost black. What is on the nose? Oh, lovely. It smells really rich and intense of toffee and caramel malt and a touch of spirit alcohol. Yeah, that's, that spirit alcohol does come up through all them other aromas. It smells quite potent too. Not much hop notes that um, I'm getting from that, but this type of beer is not about the hops really, this is about the malt and the alcohol. So, let's get it down the hatch. Bottoms up, as they say in the UK. Mm. That is definitely a winter warmer. The spirit alcohol isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but as it's going down, you can feel the warmth. But luckily, that is not in the flavour. Mmm. You got masses of caramel and toffee malt. There is an orange zesty type flavour running through it. And on the arse end, you're getting more toffee malt. Then as that goes down, there comes the warmth. And all in all, it is quite nice. I have to say, from the aroma, I thought the flavors were gonna be bigger. Um, they're a little subdued for what they promised, you know, out of the bottle, but I have to say this is not bad. I think the Adnams Tally Ho is better, in my opinion, 
but this definitely is a good representation of old ale. The mouthfeel is absolutely smooth as a baby's ass, and that makes it supremely drinkable. Even now, I'm getting that warming. <laughs> it is, it is good. I really like this. Of course, you got to go. You got to go a bit steady on this. It's um, it's eight and a half percent, and I do think, for me, the Adnams Tally Ho. The Feaston's Old Peculiar are the two best of that style that I've tried. Um, this comes in at quite a nice third. Uh, the Yorkshire Stingo, the Fuller's Golden Pride, for me, just had too much alcohol. The spirit alcohol dominated in that. And the Yorkshire Stingo as well, from what I remember, it had the sugary sweetness that you get it was almost like a barley wine and um to be honest barley wine isn't my favorite style it's just a bit too over the top with the sugar and the spirit alcohol but this stuff is is well balanced i think there is some there is a little subtle hot bitterness on there but this is just big toffee caramel malt zesty orange type flavors and then the warming spirit alcohol at the end. I mean, it is confusing because you can get you can get that spirit alcohol on the nose, out of the bowl and out of the glass, but you don't get it in the mouth. There's some fruit on there as well now. Yeah, you're getting that orangey zest, but there's also dark fruit, like dates and raisins on there and all in all i have to say robinson's i bashed them previously for the trooper stuff but this stuff is not bad at all and i can see why it's won them awards as i said and i'm i'm gonna keep hammering that point home i think the, the adams tally ho is better but this isn't bad so what's the verdict on old Tom well uh, it's good I like the bottle nice embossed bottle I like the label I like I'm a cat lover or I'm an animal lover even though I eat meat biggest hypocrite going but I do like that label um, yeah this is a good one it's very in keeping with the style of old ale it's got the the masses of malt you got your toffee, your caramel, nice bit of orange zest in that. I'm assuming that's coming from the hops that's in there. I don't know what the brew sheet is, I couldn't find it online. There is also the spirit alcohol in there, which is nice. I could handle beer if it had spirit alcohol like that. And to be honest, I think this is the way spirit alcohol should be. Some people like that taste. I'm not a massive fan of it. I don't mind a little bit of it, but too much of it, and it just doesn't make it nice. This has just got the balance perfect. It's got that lovely warming as it goes down with each mouthful, not just the first one, but you don't get it too much in the mouth, which I like about that. Um, I'm gonna give that an eight and a half out of 10. Uh, I definitely recommend it. You can get this from most supermarkets. I've seen it in supermarkets and I've avoided it up until now. And I was in Asda the other day and I bought some and I'm glad I did because this is quite nice. I will probably buy this again and I'll definitely recommend it to people. So yeah, eight and a half out of 10, recommended. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>